Hello guys, Christian Vedder here. Today I want to teach you guys how to swim on your back. So let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is to learn how to float on your back. If you don't know how to do that, you can check out the video in the description showing you how to float on your back. The next step is to stretch your feet and start kicking with your legs. If you're feeling a bit insecure in the deep end of the pool, try doing this on the shallow end where you can reach the bottom. It is very important that you stretch your feet to get any power in the water. If you have your feet flat, like you can see me here, it's like when you're walking, then you won't get any trust to get forward. So you really want to stretch those feet as much as possible. You also want to push your hip up, so you're as flat as possible in the water. If your hip is hanging down, that is going to create a lot of resistance in the water and you will go much slower. So really push that hip up and stay as flat as possible in the water. In the beginning, you don't want to breathe out all the air in your lungs, so breathe shorter breaths. If you breathe out all the air in your lungs, your upper body gets heavier in the water and your face may sink under the water, and that's not nice. When you start getting comfortable swimming around on your back like this, then we can start using the arms as well. Have both arms down by your side, lift one arm up out of the water, the thumb facing up. Then make a half circle over water and the arm is hitting the water over your head. When your arm is halfway over water, then you twist your arm and you turn the pinky towards the water, so the pinky is hitting the water first. Then you pull the arm back along your side and then you do the same with the other arm. Now you're swimming on your back. Just practice this and in time you'll get much better. I'm a diver and a free diver and this is how I learned how to start swimming on my back. I hope you got help from this video and please enjoy and subscribe to my channel if you like swimming tips and diving tips like this.